Miss Rosie, we're ready for you. You'll see, Rosie. It's okay. I'll go with you. Can I? Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Hop on right here, Miss Rosie. <laughs> Dr. Joseph will be right with you. I was scared too. I was even scared of the mask the dentist wears. But lots of people wear masks. Like this. <gasps> Cowboys and firefighters and dentists wear masks. <laughs> Rosie want too. Coming right up, Captain Rosie. Pilots wear masks too, so they can talk to their co-pilots. Can you hear me, Captain Rosie? <laughs> See, masks just help people do their jobs. But... Ghost! <laughs> oh, sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to laugh at you. It might look scary, but that's just a lab coat, not a ghost. It's a dentist uniform. Looks like you have very nice teeth, Miss Rosie. I think that if... You okay, Caillou? <laughs> Caillou funny. Not scary, see? But you know what the best thing about the dentist is, Rosie? What? Dentists do the magic that make your teeth shine. Shine like stars. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Rosie. Good Kip. Well, Captain Rosie, you ready to blast off?
Wakey, wakey, Caillou. Oh, good. You're up. We need to go and see Grandma. Mommy, look, look. What is it? Hmm. Looks like a rash, Caillou. A rash? Oh, no. How did I get it? I don't know, Caillou. But we'll have to figure it out before we go and see Grandma. But why? Well, if we don't know what gave you that rash, then we can't be sure Grandma won't get it too. We need to be safe. Okay. I know. Let's think about what you did yesterday and try to work out where the rash came from. Do you remember what you did? Hmm. Well, I went to the park with Daddy. <gasps> Daddy, can I have some lemonade? Mm. We stopped to buy lemonade. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Whoops. It was delicious. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. But I tripped and spilled it. Hmm. Maybe it was the lemonade? I don't think that's it, Caillou. Hmm. You've had lemonade lots of times before. What else did you do after? Dog who kept licking my face. <laughs> Mommy, maybe it was the dog? Hmm. But there's no rash on your face. Keep thinking. Where did you go next? I just played with Teddy. <laughs> We had a lot of fun. Ready for takeoff, Captain Teddy? <sighs> then Teddy landed in a big bush. But it was okay, because I rescued him. <laughs> And we flew home together with him in my t-shirt. <laughs> oh, Caillou! It sounds like maybe Teddy landed in some poison ivy, and then it got on your tummy. Poison? Oh, no! <laughs> Don't worry. That's just the name of the plant. You'll be fine. A nice soothing bath will make you feel a lot better. <laughs> All right, Caillou. Time to get out. And that's Teddy. Good as new. So can we go and see Grandma now? She won't get sick. I'm afraid not, Caillou. But why? Well, you can't go in your bathrobe, silly. Hey, Caillou, let's take that turn to the left and head back home. Got it. Hey, Daddy, racing home.
Be careful, Caillou. It's a bit bumpy over there. What? Caillou! <gasps> 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 Caillou, I'm Dr. Nguyen. We're just going to take a quick x-ray of your arm, okay? Uh. Well, Caillou, I'm afraid your arm is broken, so I'll need to be in a cast for six weeks. Now, I'm just wrapping some padding around your arm before we put on the plaster so it won't hurt. Now you need to hold very still until this is dry, okay, Caillou? Otherwise it won't work. Uh, it's so heavy. It feels weird. <laughs> It'll feel a bit strange for a day or two, but I'm afraid it's the only way to make sure your arm gets better. Caillou, broccoli is good for you. I don't want broccoli. If you don't eat your vegetables, Caillou, you won't get any ice cream. Ice cream? Woohoo! Stop it, Rosie! I don't want broccoli! That's it, Caillou. Go to your room. No dessert. You're grounded. Fine! Hmm. 
broccoli is so gross, Teddy. I hate it. I never want to eat it ever again. Oh, hello. Hello. Can Caillou come out and play with us? I'm sorry, Leo. Caillou isn't allowed out today. He's been oh. very naughty, so he's grounded. Oh, Caillou mad. Okay, we'll see him another day, I guess. <clears throat> Leo! Clementine! Wait there! I'll come down! No, Caillou! You'll get in trouble! I'm speaking to you. What do you think you're doing? I... I... just wanted to see my friends. You're grounded, Caillou. You were very naughty earlier. I know, but... No buts, Caillou. And you definitely shouldn't try to sneak out. What if you had gotten hurt or lost? We wouldn't have been there to help you. I... I... Uh... Sorry, I'm not allowed out today because I was bad earlier. Okay, Caillou. We'll see you another day. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get so mad. And I'm sorry for scaring you, Rosie. Caillou, mad. It's okay, Caillou. Thank you for apologizing. I'll go back to my room now. Hmm. Could, could I have my ice cream first? Hmm. Sure. <gasps> After you finish your broccoli. Over there, Caillou, next to the rest of them. <laughs> Thanks for building me a fort, Daddy. It's going to be the best ever. That's okay, Caillou. You know, my dad made me a fort when I was about your age, too. <gasps> All right. Toolbox, nails, workbench. I think we have everything. Where do you think we should build it, Caillou? 
too muddy there. Mm. Mm. Too many bugs in that bush. Ugh. And too dark there. Uh. Oh! How about here? This is a great spot. <laughs> here, Caillou, take the end of this. Okay, now pull it out that way until I say stop. Yes, sir, Daddy, sir. And stop. No! Oh. 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 Whoa! <laughs> Here, Caillou. Oh. Safety first. We'll need to be careful with everything we use today. Oh. Okay, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. We'll have a fort built in no time. Was great teamwork, Caillou. <sighs> Fort Caillou! I love it! Thank you, Daddy! What is it, Caillou? Mommy, can I sleep in the fort tonight? Oh, not alone. But maybe <gasps> Daddy will camp out with you. Oh, can we please? <laughs> okay, Caillou. <laughs> We're all set in here, Caillou. You need anything else? Over. No, thank you, Daddy. Over. All right, Caillou. Good night. Over. <laughs> Good night. Caillou, I don't want you getting lost, okay? We're all going to stick together. <sighs> okay, Mommy. Oh, look! They've got a coconut shy. Let's give it a go. Coco shy! All right, guys. You're about to find out why my school friends <laughs> used to call me Horus, Destroyer of Coconuts.
No. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my turn. Uh, uh. I Whoa. did it! I did it! Well done, Caillou. You won a prize. Which one would you like? Looks like Gilbert. Can I have that one, please, Mommy? Here you go. Now, I bet I can't do nearly as well as you just did. Wait that till Gilbert really sees cool. this. Huh? <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, that cotton candy looks amazing. Do you want me to look after your toy, Caillou? Well... Caillou? Wow! Can I have some cotton candy, Mommy? Oh, mommy? Oh, oh no! Uh, I'm lost! Try the Ferris wheel. From all the way up there, we might be able to see where Caillou is. Uh, I can't see him anywhere. Uh, I can't see them anywhere. <gasps> there, I see him. He's gone into the Hall of Mirrors. Mommy! Daddy! Caillou? <gasps> are you in here? Mommy? Mommy! Caillou! Caillou. Uh, 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 <gasps> Caillou, thank goodness we found you. Where have you been? I'm so sorry, Mommy. I didn't need to get lost. I saw the cotton candy stall, and then you were gone, and... It's okay, Caillou. I'm just happy we found you. You shouldn't run off on your own. It's so dangerous. And if you do get lost, you must find a police officer or someone else in charge, okay? I won't do it ever again. I promise. Well, I think we've had enough fairground excitement for one day. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way to the exit. Um, does anyone know where the exit is? Now we're all lost. Huh. I know. We should find a police officer. Right, Mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Tag! You're it, Rosie! <laughs> oh! <gasps> Tag! Birdie! Oh no! It's hurt its wing, Rosie! Birdie... hurt? Oh, we need to get it to Mommy! Mommy! Daddy! Huh? This baby bird hurt its wing! Oh dear. Hmm. It has a twig stuck in its wing. We'll need to get that out.
there. <laughs> that should do it, but we'll need to take care of it until it can fly again. Let's make up a bed so it can rest while its wing heals. There, Birdie. Now you'll be comfy while your wing gets better. Wing get better. Something for breakfast. You? What you looking for? Birdie's hungry, Daddy. I need to bring him some food. Huh? Oh. Oh. Huh? You've got to be more careful, Caillou, or you could really hurt yourself. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Caillou, birds do eat worms, but not gummy worms. But we don't have any real worms, so Birdie can eat some of these seeds. Here you go, Birdie. Daddy says you might like sunflower seeds. like Birdie is all better. You've done a really good job looking after him, Caillou. Birdie better. Careful, Rosie. Birdie is small, so we have to be gentle. That's right, Caillou. We need to take extra care with small animals like Birdie, or we might accidentally hurt them. But I think it's time for Birdie to go back to his nest now. <laughs> hey, that's my head, not your nest. I'll miss you, Birdie, lots. Good luck, Birdie! <laughs> okay, settle down, kids. Today, we're going to learn about Vikings. Does anybody know who the Vikings were? Mm -hmm. <gasps> mm -hmm. Um, they wore pointy hats and fur and sailed in boats, I think. Well, yes, they did, Caillou. Very good. <laughs> and today, Caillou, we're going to make our very own Viking helmets that you can take home with you. Yay! The Vikings lived hundreds of years ago. They lived in what we now call Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. They traded and traveled all over the world, sailing in longboats they built with their bare hands. Now, they also wore armor and helmets like this one. Today, class, I'd like you to make your own Viking helmet. The materials are on the table. 
You can decorate them however you like, but remember, they need to make you look strong and tough. Great job, Caillou. That's a really scary one. That's a recess, kids. <laughs> uh, I'm bored. What should we play? Let's play Vikings! Oh. <laughs> Come in peace. We need shelter against the storm. played Dig and Build 2 yet? Not yet. There's a new one? What is it? Yeah, in this one, you dig up dinosaur bones. Then you have to put the bones together to make a dinosaur skeleton. It's awesome. My mommy's taking me to get it this afternoon with my allowance. I can't wait. Mine too. Maybe we can go together. Caillou? Uh, I don't think I can. I don't have any money. Well, you better hurry, Caillou, or the store will run out. Mm -hmm. Mommy? Daddy? I need some money to buy a game. <laughs> well, Caillou, you know money doesn't grow on trees. You'll have to earn your extra money. What do you mean? Well, we'll give you an allowance to spend on whatever you like. <laughs> In exchange for you helping around the house doing some chores. That's called earning. Okay. What do I have to do? Let me think. Hmm. Here goes. Oh! 
Okay, Caillou, let's see how much you've earned this week. <gasps> Is it enough? Is it? Yes, Caillou, well done. We're very proud of all the work you did. Yes! Dig and build! Let's go, let's go! Quick, Mommy! Or they'll all be gone! <laughs> all right! All right! Here! We got the last one! You'd better buy it quick then, Caillou. Not quite, Caillou. Mr. Hinkle gave you five dollars for five boxes of cookies. You've only given him three. <gasps> yeah, that's not right, Caillou. Oh, sorry. So you have three. Here's four and five. <laughs> Thank you very much, Caillou and Clementine. Thanks, Mr. Hinkle. Yeah! Have a nice day. Wow, we already sold 10 boxes of cookies today. I wonder if we can sell 20. Or 30. Or 50. Or 100. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, you two. There's nothing to be afraid of. These people are marching. Marching? Why? 
People march when they're unhappy about something big and they want to change it. They march with signs to let the people in charge know how they feel. Why are they shouting so loudly? Yeah, what are they upset about? Well, they want to get everyone's attention. This is a protest to stand up against racism. What's racism? Oh, Mommy told me. Racism is when people are mean to each other because of their skin color. Right, Mom? That's right, Clementine. See, there was a time when you two wouldn't have been able to play together just because of the colors of your skin. Really? Yes. People with darker skin like me and Clementine were not allowed to do the same things as people with lighter skin like you, Caillou. You two wouldn't have been able to swim together or ride the bus together or even eat at restaurants together. But that's not fair. Lots of people agreed, Caillou. So they all marched together just like this and things changed and got better. So now you and Clementine can both play together and do all the same things. Oh! So marching is a good thing. It is, Clementine. Sometimes people are still mean to people with darker skin, like us. So all these people are trying to make things better. And when lots of different people all come together like this, they can change the whole world. Wow! It's okay. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. What are you doing with all that water? Me and my parents are passing them out to thirsty people on the march. That's so nice. Hey, you two. Should we get back to selling cookies? Well... Some of the people marching look kind of hungry. Could we give them some cookies? Oh, can we? Can we? I think that's a wonderful idea. We can spare a few boxes. 